Hi, welcome back to my mom life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan and today we are making pumpkin whoopie pies. So in today's video, I am showing you how to make these absolutely delicious pumpkin whoopie pies. I will have the recipe in the description box for you. I'm gonna type it out. I said the measurements for a few things wrong in the video, so definitely check the description box for the accurate measurements. But yeah, let's get started making these pumpkin whoopie pies. Here are all of our ingredients to make the cookie portion of these pumpkin whoopie pies. So I'll walk you through the ingredients. I have some flour. I'm about out in this container, but I do have more if we need more. I wanted to go ahead and use up all of my old before I poured more in. I am going to need some white sugar as well as some brown sugar. We're going to need some oil. And then I have my canned pumpkin here, an egg, pumpkin pie spice. Um, you could always use cinnamon if you don't care for pumpkin pie spice, or if you don't have it, you could substitute cinnamon, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the pumpkin pie spice. Vanilla flavoring, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Now we're gonna put together our cookies and then once our cookies are done baking and cooled, we'll go ahead and make the filling. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Let's get started making these cookies. The first thing that we want to do is measure out our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the flour. We need one and a half cups of flour. had basically just enough in there, a little bit more. But I wanted to go ahead and use up what I had because I find that I keep adding flour and then the bottom just stays where it is and I need to use it. So I used it up. Now to the flour, we're gonna add our pumpkin pie spice. I already added one and a quarter teaspoons. I'm gonna add in one more teaspoon to make two and a quarter teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice. We need half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we need one teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna give this a mix and then we will set it aside and start mixing up our wet ingredients. All right, to this bowl, I want to add my eggs and sugars. So I'm gonna add in one egg. And now we wanna add half a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of white sugar. I have my hand mixer and I'm gonna beat this until this is light and fluffy and pale in color and then we will continue adding in our ingredients. Now we wanna add in our pumpkin and oil and vanilla. So we're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we need one and a half cups of canned pumpkin, which is almost a whole can. So I'm thinking about just putting the whole can in. I might do that. All right, I did almost the whole can and I'll just save this and when I make banana bread soon because I have a bunch of bananas over there that I need to use for banana bread, I'll just throw in this little bit of extra pumpkin. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together and then once this is mixed, we will add in our dry ingredients. All right, that's pretty much combined. So now I'm gonna start adding in our flour mixture and then once that is just combined, I'll shut my mixer off and then we will scoop out our cookies. Okay, I have two cookie sheets. I have one here and then one behind me lined with parchment paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out our cookies. I have my basic cookie scoop here. This dough is gonna be super soft and more like cake batter because 
these are like cake cookies really so if you've never had a whoopie pie they're very soft cake like cookies with a super yummy filling so we're just going to scoop these out we need an even number because they are sandwich cookies so i'm going to try and make sure that we have an even number but i really i'm just going to use the same size so that they're all the same size when we go to sandwich them together Okay, there's one. Okay, I have my cookies scooped out. These are going to bake in a 350 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes until they are set on top. And I will show you what they look like when they're all done baking. Here is my cookies out of the oven. They look so yummy and they're very soft to the touch. So I've let these um, cool a little bit. You can see they're not too brown. You don't wanna like get them too brown on the bottom because then they'll be dry. So these are done, they're cooled. I'm gonna transfer these to something else, cook up the rest of my cookies, and then we are going to make the filling. It's time to make the filling. So I am going to walk you through the ingredients that we need for that. I have one package of cream cheese, I have a one stick of butter that is at room temperature. We're gonna need a pinch of salt. We're gonna need half a cup of marshmallow cream, some vanilla flavoring, and some powdered sugar. We're gonna start by beating together the butter and the cream cheese. So I'm just gonna get the cream cheese out. This is um, a third less fat cream cheese. It, it's technically called this but it's cream cheese, same thing. So I'm gonna beat these together until they are nice and smooth, and then we'll go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients. Okay, I have my paddle attachment on my stand mixer. I'm gonna go ahead and beat these together until they're nice and smooth, like I said, and then we'll add in our powdered sugar. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my other ingredients. So we need three cups of powdered sugar. I'm gonna add in a splash of vanilla flavoring and then a pinch of salt. And then we need half a cup of marshmallow cream. I'm just gonna eyeball that. It's, it's a little over half a container. Now we are going to beat this until it is all combined and smooth, and then we have our filling. This is looking a little too loose for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit more powdered sugar. If you want measurements, I'll write out correct measurements in the description box for you. Okay, that looks much better to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and we have our filling ready. So now all we have to do is fill our whoopie pies. All right, I have my filling and I have all of my cookies. I have them matched up because we're gonna put the filling on and then sandwich them together and that will be our whoopie pie. I am just gonna use a cookie scoop to scoop out our filling and fill them that way. If you wanted to pipe the filling in, feel free to do it however you want. But we're just going to scoop on our filling I like a good amount and then sandwich them together and keep going.
Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you subscribe and stick around and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.